Hey everybody, got a real quick video how to remove motor mounts on an F-150 from the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. I remember from my other video, I'm going to link to it. Take those nuts off and that little plate that holds the motor mount down so that the, the um, motor mount is anchored to the vehicle. So 13, 16, you got to take those two nuts off. And there's a plate that's attached to the motor mount that has three bolts that have to come out. There's one right there. And then on the other side, towards the front of the vehicle, there are two more. And they're 13 millimeters. I'm trying to get you a good shot. There. And there. Now, I'm facing the vehicle. And you take those two 13 millimeters out, and that removes the plate because the plate is attached to the motor mount. Now over here on the driver's side, you see that's the motor mount there, that big nut, I've that big bolt I've already removed. I'm gonna show it to you. And there's your dipstick. And this also has a plate. There's a nut over there that has to come out. And then towards the front of the vehicle, there are two more nuts, still 13 millimeter. I'm gonna get you a better shot of those. And that big nut that I was telling you about, that big bolt, that's the size of a 15, 16 you're gonna need. Get a breaker bar and take your time. It's gonna be a long process because it's like almost a foot long. Now this is facing the vehicle from the other side. I'm looking under. And those are the two 13 millimeters on the driver's side that have to come out. That separates the plate from the motor as well as taking out that bolt. Now you're gonna lift the motor up by putting a block on top of your jack and place it in the front of the oil pan towards the front of the vehicle and jack it up. That's the long bolt I was telling you about. So you're gonna raise the motor up. Don't forget to remove the driver's side. You're gonna have to take your dipstick out. You're gonna pop it out from the bottom. And there's a small nut that, a small screw that holds it in place halfway up. You're gonna remove that and you can just pop the dipstick out so that you can remove the driver's side motor mount. And remember, again, there's two nuts on, two bolts on that side, one bolt on this side for the driver's side. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Be blessed.